Today, we're diving into a topic that's often debated amongst parents, teachers, and even doctors, and that's a relationship between ADHD and kids and sugar. Is sugar really the culprit behind those hyperactive bursts of energy? Let's find out. With so many kids diagnosed with ADHD today, it's natural for parents to look for factors that might influence their child's behavior, and sugar often comes under scrutiny. The idea that sugar causes hyperactivity in kids isn't new. It dates back to the 1970s when Dr. Benjamin Feingold proposed that artificial flavors and colors along with sugar could lead to hyperactivity. But what does the research actually say? A comprehensive review published in the journal Critical Reviews in Food Science and Nutrition examined multiple studies on sugar and behavior in children. The conclusion, sugar does not cause hyperactivity. In fact, many of the studies reviewed showed no significant difference in behavior between children who consume sugar and those who consume the placebo. So if sugar isn't the main culprit, why do so many people believe it is? Well, one reason could be the expectation effect. Parents who expect their children to be more hyperactive after consuming sugar might perceive their behavior as more rambunctious even if there's no real change. Let me give you an example. Let's say your child went to a birthday party where they ate lots of sugar and then afterwards they're not listening and they seem extra hyper. Well, the reason is not the sugar. The reason is because they were in a stimulating environment. And for many kids with ADHD, semi-structured or unstructured social situations can be difficult to navigate. And that can certainly contribute to the change in their behavior. I'm not saying sugar was helpful, but it wasn't the culprit behind their change in behavior. Of course, this doesn't mean that sugar should be consumed in unlimited quantities. A balanced diet is crucial for all kids, especially those with ADHD. There's a good amount of research out and some good YouTube videos you can watch that show how it's actually sugar, not calories, that is contributing to metabolic diseases such as diabetes and other conditions. So what's the takeaway? While sugar doesn't cause ADHD or hyperactivity, maintaining a healthy diet is essential for managing symptoms and supporting overall well-being in all kids. And remember, each child is unique, so it's important to find what works best for your family. Like all things in life, most things should be in moderation. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful information on parenting kids with ADHD. And I will speak to you soon. Take care.